Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. So this is the sixth session of this Oracle tutorial series. In this session, we will learn how to write small code blocks in Oracle. See, not only creating tables, writing queries, and inserting data into tables, we can also write some business logic. That is, we can write some code in Oracle, right? So especially when we are writing stored procedures that we are going to learn in the later parts of this tutorial series. So we will be writing some code. So now we will see a small code block in Oracle. And why I am discussing this now before we start about data types is. So if you know how to write small code blocks, then in the next session, I will explain you how, what are the different data types that we have, that we have in Oracle, right? So let's get started. First thing, let me open SQL Developer. So I have SQL Developer installed in my system. So, so go to here, I just installed SQL Developer and click on this SQL Developer. So now that will open SQL Developer. Now you can see here SQL Developer got open. Now I need to create a connection. So I've created in the previous uh, session, but I deleted this so that those who are watching this video for the first time, so they will understand it. So right click on this connection, new connection, and I will write here connection name, give some connection name, make, uh, make DB, and uh, the username is I created in the second um, session. So make and password also I give make and click on connect. Now it got connected. So when you click on this, you will see here a query window got opened and you can see here that it's showing make db query window. Now what I need to do here is, so let me increase the font size so that you can see clearly. So tools and uh, you can see preferences. Let's see if there is anywhere font. So environment, let me expand this code editor and fonts and I'll increase the font size. So let's take 18 so that you can see clearly, yeah. Now I will write, so normally in other programming languages, let's take if you're already a seasoned developer in C language or in your college, you learned any programming language like Java, C++. So we declare variables like this. So int age, this is how we declare in C language or C++ or Java programming language or C sharp. So in almost all programming languages, we declare a variable like this and we assign a value like this, age is equal to five or something like this. Now, this is how you do it in all programming languages. But in SQL, if you want to declare a variable, so you need to use a keyword called declare. So let me open one more notepad and we will try to compare both. So, so this is the traditional way how we declare in all programming languages like uh, C or C++ or C Sharp or Java. Now here we declare a variable in SQL. So we declare a variable like this, declare. So declare and we write variable name. Let's take age. And then we write uh, the data type. So number. So I want up to three, uh, three digits or four digits. I'll put here number. And then we have to write some code block like begin and end. So inside, so this is variable declaration. And then we write begin and end. And inside this, you can assign. So how do we assign value here is age age colon equal to, I'll put here five. So this is how we assign a value. And here it's simple, age equal to five. But in Oracle, you assign like age colon equal to five. So we put this colon here in Oracle, right? And if you want to print in other programming languages, like in C language, you use printf. And, uh, and in C++, you use C out. And C sharp, you use console.write line. And in Java, you, you might have done system dot out dot print ln. So these are the different uh, print uh, ln. So these are the different ways to use in programming languages. Similarly in Oracle, uh, in Oracle we have like this. So dbms, dbms underscore output underscore output dot put line. So put line, I'll put here the variable name age. So this is how we declare a variable and begin and end where you need to write some assign values and write some code. So I assign the value, I'm just displaying the output here. So let me copy this now and go to a SQL developer and let's see if I can see the output. So let me paste it here and select these lines. 
So I need to put semicolon here. That's uh, that will tell that the block is done. So let me select all these lines. Click on execute. Now let's see if I get the output. So I am I'm not seeing the output here, right? So what could be the reason is so let me put here set server output on. So so let me put here set server output on. So that will actually ensure that we can see the output. Let me copy this and execute this. Now you can see here I am seeing the output 5. So if you want to see the output, you need to write this line in the first line, set server output on. So that will ensure that you can see the output when your code block gets executed. So what we learned here in this uh, in this code is that, so how to declare a variable. So declare data type, variable name and data type, and begin and end inside the two, write this. And now let's take, I want to declare a, I want to store a name. So I'll write here, declare name and for data type name, I will write here uh, varchar2 and I'll put here 20. And now I will assign some value. So I'll put here name colon equal to. So name colon equal to Meghnath. So now I need to put in single quotes here. In Oracle, we don't use double quotes. So I'll put here Meghnath for string. So now the best thing about uh, using SQL developer is, so DBMS. Now, when I type control space, I'm holding control button now and space, you can see the suggestions from um, SQL developer. So I repeat once again. So when you type here DBMS, DBMS, you don't need to remember the method that we have for printing on the screen. You can hold control button and space. You will see here, it, it suggests a lot more things. So now I will click on this DBMS, uh, so output put line. So let me click on this. You can see here the method got added. And now here I'll just write name. So like this, you have to write uh, you have to write code blocks in Oracle. So let me click on this and select and execute. Now you can see here I'm getting an error. So let's see what could be the error here, and we will fix it. So now I will see here. So name colon equal to Meghnath, and let me give one space here. Ideally, space should not be the issue and uh, varchar220 and everything looks fine for me. Let me select all and click on execute. Okay, let's see the error that we are getting now. So error report, line five, uh, end. Okay, so the error here is I missed to put semicolon here. So now let me put the semicolon here and let me execute this. Now you can see I'm getting the error magnet. So you can clear this, the previous errors if you don't want to see it, you can happily click on this clear and all the previous things are gone and select all and click on execute. Now you can see the output make not, right? So this is how we write small code blocks in Oracle. We declare variable and we assign the value and we print it output, right? So the same thing, you can also do this in, in SQL command line. So all you have to do is let me copy this and go to SQL command line, click on start and click on run SQL command line. So that will open this and I need to connect to this. So connect Meg and uh, password also Meg and now I'll type it. So paste it and enter. Now when you are typing an SQL command line, you need to put a terminator for this for this code. So so when you're done with this, you just need to put slash. So the slash tells that you're done with the code and put enter. You'll see here the output Meghnath and it got completed. And remember to put set server output on. If you don't put set server output on, so let's say this once again. So now I will go here and I'll open run SQL command line. I will click on connect once again. So connect, make, and I'll enter password as make. Now I'll not copy the set server output on, but I'll copy this. So right click on this and um, where is copy? So copy this code and go back to this and let me paste it and put slash. Now you're not seeing the output. So PLSQL process is successfully completed, but you're not seeing output. So if you want to see the output from the server, so you have to write set server output on. So I'll write here set server output space on. And now I'll paste the code and slash enter. Now you can see the output make now. Okay. So hope you are clear with this session. So we learned how to uh, declare a variable and assign the value and print the output in both SQL command line and SQL developer. So in the next session, we will learn the difference between, we will learn the data types varchar2 and uh, nvarchar2, and we will see what are the different data types we have. So thank you, 
and do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a good day.